He's the one and BBC Two's got an exclusive. Kevin Greening talks to the artist, formerly known as Prince. He's a living legend and one of the most elusive stars around today. He hasn't been interviewed on British TV for over a decade. Today, we talk exclusively to the artist formerly known as Prince. In the mid-1950s, a jazz piano player called John Nelson left his home in Louisiana to look for work in Minneapolis. There he married a local singer, and on the 7th of June 1958, they had a son who they named Prince Rogers Nelson. He would become one of the most talented and respected musicians in the history of modern music. Prince grew up in a predominantly white working-class neighborhood. As a boy, he would watch from backstage as his father played piano in the local strip clubs. The flamboyant costumes, the dark... teased and called Princess. Even though he was a good basketball player, being so small, he could never make the team, and the girls ignored him. So, inspired by artists like Jimi Hendrix, he turned to music and taught himself to play over 20 instruments. With his best friend Andre Simone, he formed his first band, Grand Central. His other influences included Stevie Wonder, Joni Mitchell, Curtis Mayfield and of course James Brown. Isaac Hayes, another musical hero, offered Prince a recording deal when he was just 16. But he chose to stay on at school till he graduated. It wasn't until 1977 that he struck gold by signing a major deal with Warner Brothers. He made history by becoming their youngest ever producer. It was full of references to masturbation and incest, and his androgynous style left people unsure of his sexuality. He was one of the first black male artists to openly flaunt a feminine image. Lots and lots has been said and written about you in recent years. Do you do you pay attention to much of that? Um, only the parts that say I'm insane, I find that real humorous. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the weirdest thing that's that's ever been attributed to you? I don't really um, uh, get into weird things that are said about me. I tend to look at things that are complimentary, you know, because um, that's what's going to add to my soul. It's very obvious that uh, anything negative is spewed by a detractor that's trying to harm me. It's so the, the ritual goat slayings, all that kind of stuff, that's all I joke then. The what? <laughs> no, sorry, I was, I was joking. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Stones in Los Angeles. Within 20 minutes, their fans had booed him off stage. Years later, his fans treated Ron Wood with a little more respect.
And parental guidance stickers were introduced. Has being slammed by the censors ever really angered you? Any particular occasion? I, I, I'm here. I'm living, breathing. I'm happy. I'm around, uh, among uh, wise people. Uh, I have no complaints. But does it bother you that there is that moral majority out there who are just waiting to read something into in, into the message in your lyrics? No. What I think that is is a security system, and it keeps it keeps the truth the truth. So debated for hours, we'll find out one way or another, you know. So I I, I welcome all of it. I welcome all of it, you know. The, the uh, first syllable of problem is pro, you know. So it, it defines sometimes where the light Not content with his own label and a successful recording career, Prince still had a thirst for films. He directed and starred as a gigolo in his second movie, Under the Cherry Moon. The film bombed and collected eight Raspberry Awards, the alternative Oscars for grim movies. The soundtrack to the film did much better, and Kiss gave Prince his third US number one. The album only missed an equal position due to a new girl on the scene, Janet Jackson, produced by former Prince collaborators Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Do you get to, to hear any radio? Do you get to listen to other artists? My, um, <laughs> my, my radio, oh, 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 my radio, oh, oh, show sound bad to me. <laughs> He had a song uh, a while back called My Radio Show Sounds Good to Me, but that was when radio sounded Sound good. good. You know, yeah. it's, um, people don't play anymore. Everything is sequenced, and, you know, I, if I want to listen to a machine, I'll just go put my clothes in it and, <laughs> and get some work done at the same time, because you ain't going to get no funk. I'm going down. The next two albums displayed Prince's endless musical creativity. Artistically, though, some felt he was a little too creative. The cover sleeve for Love Sexy was deemed too risque for many record shops to stock. Prince was initially unsure about doing the Batman soundtrack, despite coaxing from fans Jack Nicholson and director Tim Burton. This all changed when he discovered who had been cast. Prince became linked with Kim Basinger, and there was even talk of marriage until she broke off the engagement. Who says no to you then? Who, who says, uh, the artist, whatever, I, I, I think this is substandard, or it's not up to your normal standard? Let me see. Uh, is that a substandard shirt that you have on? Is it my place to I judge like it. Is that yeah, what counts? That's, what's, that's what it's about. You like it, that's what right. In 1990, he made the soundtrack to Graffiti Bridge, the sequel to Purple Rain. It was another turkey and went straight to video in the UK. The album didn't fare much better and Prince was left looking for a hit. He found it with Diamonds and Pearls and it gave Prince and the new power generation a US number one and a UK number three. It was on this album that the world was treated to the uniquely stunning voice of Rosie Gaines. In 1992, she went on to have her own solo success with the smash hit Closer Than Close. Like a musical 007, there have been as many Prince girls as Bond girls. In this video alone, spot Cat dancing, Sheila E on drums, and Sheena Easton on vocals. Prince 
has written and produced tracks for countless artists, including Misha Paris, Celine Dion, The Bangles, Madonna, and even Bart Simpson. He's now working and touring with Chaka Khan and Larry Graham, the bassist from Sly and the Family Stone. I've been so closed up in the studio the past 20 years, to be honest. I, I'm just now getting out to work with the people I really, really want to work with. And where it's me making the first move going to them and saying, would you uh, care to work with me as opposed to the other way around. Being with a record company, you usually get a lot of messages back and forth from people who want their tracks produced and what have you. But um, uh, I really like Bjork's stuff. I'm, I'm keen on her sound and her, her daring. Uh, but I, I'm in musical heaven right now. I mean, Dougie Fresh, Larry Graham, Shaka Khan, and New Power Generation. I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> In 1993, Prince signed a new contract with Warners for $100 million. Even more than either Michael Jackson or Madonna's previous deals. The title of his next album was denoted by a symbol. Poor sales, though, made him want to release another album straight away. But Warners refused, thinking it would dilute his output. He was furious and would only appear in public with Slave written on his cheek. In concert. Perfectly free. On record, slave. Get wild. Come. Peace. Shut up already. Damn. Prince unshackled himself from his record company and on his 35th birthday announced that Prince was dead. He emerged with a new name. This is my name, this is what I go by. Those who respect me will use it. Those who do not will say and do otherwise. At least as much as I wanted to. See, Crystal Ball at $50 a pop sold a great deal. You understand? So it was five CDs. Right behind that, we came with New Power Soul, which has been very lucrative for us, regardless of what a chart says. Charts is someone else's accounting of an occurrence, all right? And um, the occurrence has been very fruitful for all of us. See this cane? See that ring? It's been wonderful. <laughs> It's been a learning experience, uh, this whole uh, trip. Uh, I don't, uh, by any means, regret any of my past dealings with record companies. Uh, I had a good time. I learned a lot and learned an awful lot. And uh, uh, they helped me in uh, getting my uh, star across. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I feel it's important to have ownership of the legacy that was created by us. Uh, even in Larry's case, uh, he was at the same record company. Now he's free to uh, either re-record those songs or get them back. I mean, how wonderful it would it be, since they've already made their money, to give the recordings back now so that he can make the same type of deals that a David Bowie or Elton John makes. That's only fair, wouldn't you say? The artist has been with his wife, Maite, since she joined his band as a dancer in 1986. Ten years later, they got married on Valentine's Day, and she's become an integral part of his career, directing his recent videos. But a queen. The video is directed by Maite, yeah? Um, Maite, uh, the one, is directed by her, yes. Very proud of that. Great work. Great work. 
New Power Soul is the artist's latest album. On it, he's joined by the New Power Generation, and it's released on his NPG label. This video for the new single was shot in London. I know you got a young man, you don't care about me. He's darker than quicksand, he's taller than a tree. But what you need I was um, playing a um, street musician, uh, a little bit older. Some of my friends walked by and create havoc in London. There's a lot of references to this wonderful city. Come on, shake it Come on, baby. Come on, shake it The records I do alone now are basically that alone. All, all written by me and I play most of the instruments. Kirk helps me with programming a great deal, but uh, Emancipation, I did a lot of stuff. A lot of tracks you'll hear. It's like joint to joint is, is up there. You got to wear my ring. Cause I don't want no mistress. I'd much rather be bound. Let's find a preacher so we can get down. We're getting more into politics, spiritual politics on this record. And uh, I let the band uh, help me out a little bit more than usual on this particular project. Kirk co-produced just about everything on it. And Rhonda's featured on the first single, and uh, probably our favorite song, The One. You and your girlfriend, y'all two of a kind, just running these knuckleheads, three and four at a time. Before they use one baby, but you're still acting wild. I've got to ask you a question about the name. If I'm walking past you in the street, and there is a big tin of paint four stories above you on a window this, ledge. This is his bumper, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. This, there's, a, there's, a, there's a big tin of paint. This is how he sells his program right here. <laughs> big can of paint, four stories above you. I've got a question that I know the answer already. <laughs> Falls off the window ledge and it's coming down towards you. There are loads of people around. I have to... See? See? <laughs> Answer me off that. Answer me off that. Can of paint is coming out towards you. I need to attract your attention in a split second to save your life. What do I shout? You don't shout. The anything. artist. You don't shout. You? Anything. you dive and move me out of the way of the paint if you can. Oh yeah, I, knew that. <laughs> I can't reach you. I can't reach you. What do I say in that split second? And I never did find out the answer. When I ask you why you're hungry, you say you're already ate. You can play me if you wanna. I don't need to play the good licks if I ain't gonna be no show. I'm better off sleeping with my guitar. I can't hear you. Why don't you take old man with you? You don't like old man. <laughs> you don't like old men. Hey, I got the butter for your muffin, honey. I'm just too old to hold the night. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. stars on the pops and some that need no introduction this is the artist
junkie for the sound. She'll make you call your boys in a powwow to scope a plan. How to ditch your man in the trunk of a Lexus. Perplexing exes, which is flex. She got the long dark legs. She got the butt to go round and round. This kind of food you make you big. She turns out. Knows how to make you feel like your stuff ain't brown tonight, and a perfume smell like the weekend. This funky joint, we down in the city, with the girls sing along to the hip hop all night long. White girls, black girls, Latinas, oh. 